family lovelies, it's me, Edith Ivy, back with the Simplicity's Sake Checklist Challenge using the EA 24 for 24 Checklist Challenge with my own additional spin. We have got a lot to do and we'll see how much we get through based on how much time I have before this is just entirely too long. I want to get our plants undercover because I don't want to deal with seasons for them and it is pretty inexpensive to make a faux greenhouse. So I'm just gonna pop some pillars in place if I can. What do you mean I cannot put a pillar there? Well, we'll make it work. What obstruction is here, though? I have a confuzzlement. That wretched shopping cart is back. Seriously, AA? That is offensive. Right. Now, we are going to put a roof over these pillars. And we will add walls later when we can afford them. There. Our plants are under cover and we will add walls when we can afford so to do. And now everybody is in season again. That means that we can evolve this strawberry. And I believe we just finished tending our garden. So it is 7.40 p.m. Let's get some chatting with Vlad in. And I think we've done about everything that I want to do with the mermaid. So we are going to probably lose the mermaid today. But I had the fun thought to realize that, hmm, the last time I played with mermaids was a really, really long time ago because I just don't find them as fun as some other occults. I should probably look in to see if anything got patched or updated or was just a glitch when I did it. And turns out that, uh, yeah, I may not know how to get out of mermaiddom. Because it used to be you just let your hydration bar stay at the bottom for like six hours in sim game. But apparently now you need more mermatic kelp. The internet also claims that going into the cave again will give us the chance of finding rheumatic kelp. <gasps> we just got grafting. We really need snapdragons now. All right, our hydration is bad. She's already taking care of it. Then we will do, well, we'll just do a really quick hydration and pee and chat with Vlad again. And then when Vlad goes to sleep, we will head out and we will don't just walk away, repair your toilet. But we're going to chat with Vlad till he goes to sleep. I am hoping to get his friendship bar up high enough that he will turn us into a vampire and that will make it easier to woohoo him. Alright, sell everything from your garden and we really need to find some snapdragons. And I think I know what world to find them in and there's a fun hidden lot there. Grab some quick hydration and then we will get on the road. And I am hoping to get enough time to work on our woodworking table, which if we become a vampire with Vlad, then we will be inside and require less sleep. Now, if I am remembering correctly, snapdragons can be found in Willow Creek and we want to be in this Foundry Cove neighborhood. So we're just gonna choose the Crick Cabana residential. I know they won't be popped up because we've never been to this lot before, but I think 
that snapdragons grow wild around here. Let's, so let's see if we can find some plants. Ooh, there's a little garden. Are you a garden style? You look like a food stall. Yeah. We have potatoes, strawberries, chrysanthemum, snapdragon. Okay, so we're going to have to come back in the fall, but we can level up our gardening till then. Ooh, let's dig this up. I have plans for you. Let's dig that one up too, since we're here. This is one of the base game neighborhoods. I really actually like it. It is very cute. And, of course, there are obligatory fishing spots everywhere. We have acquired the gemology skill, but that is for later. All right, what a beautiful and unusual tree. And it's clickable. Let's, let's view this tree. Let's view it many times and take in its beauty and gloriousness. What? We can water it now? Let's water it again. It's a big tree. <gasps> we can compliment it on its leaves. It does have beautiful leaves. Oh! What is this? A doorway has opened! Shall we go exploring? This trunk is a lot bigger than anticipated. It's dark. It's somehow not scary. A faint glow is the only light. A roiling burble, the only sound. I think we're going to follow the sound. Janet delves a bit deeper and a bit darker. A soft splash tells her that she has just stepped into a shallow stream. Um, let's go downstream. This stream has got to be flowing somewhere. Taking the path of least resistance and hoping that it doesn't terminate in, at a sewer main, Janet is distracted by an ethereal mist glowing ominously. Oh, we're going into the ominous mist. That's just facts. You expect me to not go into the ominous mist? Let's travel to the glade. The mist is warm and friendly as far as mists go. Without warning, Janet feels the sensation of being spun around and exit to the cave now staring her in the face. Oh! We're getting the option to travel to a new lot. This is the Sylvan Glade. It is, in my opinion, probably the easiest secret lot to get to. It is beautiful. Oh, that's... That's a little freaky. But you can fish in the water and you get a... You know what? Let's do it. Let's fish with our aquatic lure while we still have it. Because you can get rare and exotic fish here, and that is just handy. You can also fish over here, and plants will sprout here if you stay in here long enough. It is full of butterflies, and some of the bushes... I love that there's mushrooms here. Some of the bushes have little glowing lights in them, and I'm trying to find my favorite bush. Because of course I have a favorite bush. Tucked off in the back somewhere, there is a little bush with a little pair of eyes peeking out. There's the creepy red eyes! Aren't they delightful? Most of the plants down here are base game though, because this is a base game lot. Should we harvest from the mushroom ring? Ah, uh, I don't want to get stolen by the fairies. Just a personal preference. We got an emotion potion. Uh, discus worth $28. There we go. We got a tree fish. I like the weird fish. Right, but we are starting to need to pee. See if we get any particularly cool frogs. Oh no, we're too uncomfortable. Oh well, we'll have to go home. Before we wet ourselves. Actually, let's lose this mermaid. 
Okay, let's go swimming out into the ocean and go pee. Can we? Can we not pee in the ocean? Let's try swimming out here and then we'll see. Oh, we're very sleepy too. Eh, we'll let you take a nap while you're in a mermaid. Because that is a thing you can do in the ocean when you're a mermaid. Oh, apparently we didn't make it out into the water fast enough. Let's... Let's go get some sleep, sweetie. Yes, I know you're tired. I'm trying to do something about it. Dehydrated? I just told you to walk into the ocean. The sass. We've already done the humor and hijinks festival. We don't need to do it again. Alright, that's enough sleep bar. Now... According to the internet, you can get more mermaidic kelp by going into and out of this cave. I personally have never found the mermaidic kelp here, but I've seen it happen. Ooh, glowworms. Janet was exploring an undocumented section of the cave when she came upon a beautiful sight, although unsettling to some. Thousands of glowing larvae covered the walls of this hidden grotto. Wait a moment. As Janet debated whether to take in the sight or leave, a mass of screaming insects fell from above and co coated her head. Oh, goodness. Uh, we found a collection of shells. Let's keep exploring. Let's explore until we have to go home and take care of our needs. Because if I can get free mermaid kelp from this cave, I'm gonna do it. Collection of shells again. Cave graffiti. While exploring a cave on the beach, Janet discovered a wall scrawled with messages left behind by tourists and young teens. Deciding she couldn't leave the cave with- Oh, why would you do that? Enchanting song. An enchanting- Oh! We unlocked some of the- We unlocked some more of the mural. It will slowly fill in around you. She became an audience to a mermaid in her enchanting beauty. She approached the mermaid only for her enchanter to back away coyly. Girl, we're both mermaids. Ooh, search for wildlife. Once leaning over the pool, the mermaid was resting in and I got pulled under the current. Ooh, we found an ancient wreck. And then a collection of shells again. Ooh, underground pools, but nothing in them. Ancient wreck again. Ancient wreck again. Ooh, lava tubes. Oh, we passed out. Okay, let's go home. I don't think we're going to get any mermaid kelp out of this. Or did we? Did we already while well, I wasn't paying attention? We found a shell. Found another shell. Go ahead and hit the john, my love. Oh, we have to pay our bills. Oh! We did find mermaidic kelp. It just didn't say in the pop-ups. Interesting. Well, let's sell some fish. We're going to keep the crystals. Oh, let's keep one of these shells. We already have the heart of Sulani. But we can keep the eyes of Sulani. Yeah. Let's sell all of that. And let's put... Out some more Sulani themed decor and apparently if we take a couple of mermaidic kelp we won't be a mermaid anymore so let's let's eat some mermaidic kelp And we are no longer a mermaid. Alright, sweetness. Go to sleep. Uh -huh. yes. And uh -huh. let's sell the mermaidic kelp. We don't need that anymore. No. Your bed is right there. Seriously, woman. Go to sleep. Oh, and you'll wake up just in time to talk to Vlad forever. Uh, Yes. We have to. It's in the personal rules that I made up for myself. 
All right, let's go inside together. Let's try apologizing. Let's just see if it gets us anywhere at Magna. all. Pagan. Oh, yay! Uh, it looks like he accepted oh, it! Sorry. All right, let's open our profile. Friendly advice! Yes! Franjwaga Lastubo. Let's talk about grilled cheese with Vlad. Quick! Before we can do it, we gotta switch over to the other aspiration. I don't know if we got into talking about grilled cheese fast enough. Um, I'm not going to risk hurting our friendship bar. How can yes. we spend this time? Do you have a thing that I can do that will help with my skill building? Oh. oh. He went to bed. I just saw his crypt door close. Well, on the one hand, we no longer have a festering grudge. On the other hand, I'm not going to hang out in his house while he's sleeping. We have challenge things to get to. We are extremely hungry and we need a shower. So let's take care of that. Oh, we are out of salad. Let's make some more salad. As much as we need to eat more grilled cheese and make group servings of grilled cheese, I also don't want to burn my house down. Though, that did let me check off, set something on fire for the challenge. Landgram Power Company Safety Alert. Due to scrolls, we're going to turn off your power sometime in the next 48 hours. Are you prepared? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm prepared. Very good. This is just a chest to make sure you are ready. Enjoy a discount on your next bill. Nice. Well, that reminds me we have to pay our bills. Oh, and before people mention it in the comments, I know that I have cottage living and I could go to Henford on Bagley and probably buy snapdragons from a garden stall, but I don't want to. I want to do things the most difficult way possible. Today is a holiday, it is the lottery, I skipped prank day because I didn't think about it until it was too late to find people to prank. We'll do next prank day. Personally, I'm not a fan of prank day or neighborhood brawl, but there are people who genuinely like them. All right, sell all your plants and this is filling up our fun. You can also talk to plants after I want to say level four and that's good for your social and the freelance botanist wants us to fertilize plants so let's fertilize some plants scintillating gameplay fertilizing plants fertilizing with more expensive things will improve your plants quality faster but it also means you have less to sell for money. And since we need money for just so many things, we're not going to take that route. All right, then we will grab some food and then we are going to start working toward vampirism. So the first step to being able to talk to vampires, uh, Kalamo would like to come over and have out? Yeah, sure is to learn about vampires. So we are going to go into the internet somewhere and somewhere is researching vampires. Vampire secrets. Search for information about vampires. And it will eventually show us we've discovered vampire secrets and we'll get these pop-ups of things about vampires as we research vampires. And after a couple of times researching vampire <laughs> secrets on the internet, we will unlock a vampire tome. Now, after you unlock the vampire tome, that vampire tome will actually tap out a little bit before... Oh, I am a... I am a silly goose. There's an aspiration for that, and aspiration points are useful! I believe vampires are their own category. Oh, it's under knowledge, Master Vampire! Okay, we do need to become a vampire, but we can. You want to keep searching for information on vampires until you get this pop-up 
Excellent. That Enjoy basically, that. you'll get a pop up that says wow. something to the effect of, You've learned all you can. Maybe you could buy a book about it. Let's read our shiny new book. And by then, it might be late enough to start calling Vlad. And you'll get these little pop ups about vampiric abilities. Even though it'll say you have finished reading the book, you will want to read them like one at a partial times. Well, we've got to go potty. We've reached level four of the vampiric lore skill. And we have finished reading the first volume, but I don't think... Yeah, we haven't unlocked vampire lore. You will have to read all of the books, like, one in a partial times. But it's late enough that we're going to chat with Vlad. And we might do some traveling to set up a couple things for later bits of the challenge. Because it occurred to me we're going to want to become a werewolf, but we don't want to be a werewolf forever. And the cure is hard to get while you're a werewolf. The next full moon, we are going to go acquire... Yeah, we can like home body sims. We're going to go acquire some, I want to say they're moon flowers. Oh, we didn't win the lottery. We spent all of yesterday in game on vampire things. So today we're going to make some money. We're going to work on our handiness skill. And then tomorrow we'll vampire... Well, we'll alternate. I'm going to make one of each sculpture to put into our table. Because I've never been able... I don't know if you're supposed to be able to sell them through the table. But I've never been able to sell furniture through the table. And that's how we make money from woodworking. Let's put the things we are making into our table. One of my neighbors is doing handiness outside. I hope that the mic isn't picking that up, but if it is, that is what that noise is. We'll chat with Vlad for a couple of hours and then go to bed. I apparently missed the fridge when I was putting away her leftovers, so it's grilled cheese o'clock. What level vampiric lore are we? So when I say we're level four, I think we're high enough level of vampiric lore that we can actually talk to Vlad about vampires now, though. So we may choose to do that. We're definitely going to sell some woodworking tonight, though, because we need money. And while the garden is pulling in a lot of money still, I want to get our handiness skill up so we can go to the Forgotten Grotto in Oasis Springs. And you need level 10 handiness for that. All right, make yourself some grilled cheese, my love, and then we're going to have a late night sale. Let's see if we can cross off the thousand simoleons from woodworking. And that is group servings. Did we? Yes, and they were excellent. I'm just going to double check that our food is actually in the fridge this time. Excellent. Let's stock the table. It's 10 o'clock at night. Let's see how much wood we, wood we could sell. And our charisma isn't that great, so we're going to leave the markup relatively low. Alright, that is everything off of our table. So let's end our sale. Let me pause and do some quick math. So that's another 246 simoleons toward woodworking. So we've made a total of 369 simoleons from woodworking. It is a little slower. But the more you mark up and the better your skill is, the more you can make. Let's chat with Vlad. We do want to have children with Don Lothario before too much longer, though. Because he isn't getting any younger. Alright, go ahead and go to bed, sweetie. Go actually sleep. Oh, tonight is the full moon. So, we want to wake up no later than 4 o'clock. Because we want to get into Moonwood Mills by 6. So, let's travel. Let's go to the library. It is 3.30. We are in Moonwood Mills, which is the werewolf world. 
And we want plants to spawn. I played a game where I lived on this lot. So I know around here is a spawning location for Wolfsbane. And we want Wolfsbane. This library is also just a cool lot. I love the broken doors. And upstairs with the planters. Like, it's very open, I believe. Yeah, these were all James Turner builds. Um, and he's just really, really good at what he does. Like, I don't even think that's a window. I think he just used a half walls to make a fake window. Oh, so good. I also like that this library has showers in it, which is useful for regs to riches uh, challenges. I'm gonna get some reading done. That seems reasonable. We're basically hanging out until two things. First, we need it to be six o'clock because if you're on a lot at six o'clock, then the plants for that lot will spawn the next day. So you want to be on that lot at six o'clock in the afternoon and then before 10 a.m. the next morning. So we're just going to be on this lot for a while. Ooh. That, oh, I forgot that there was a log bench and a full gym, too, at the library. Oh, we could observe the stars and see if we can get kidnapped by aliens. There's also, just like there are billboards in the Eagle Living Lot, you can learn about the different werewolf packs and how they work. So there's two packs, there's the Wild Fangs, there's the Moonwood Collective. They both have hangouts that you can go to. And we are not yet going to court werebees. But there is an advisory. The Wolfbane sprouted. And you're bored from being inside. Why don't you nap on this log? Because we're going to be here until the moonflowers sprout. Now, down here by the Moonwood Collective, there's this really cool mountain you can climb. And the moonflowers sprout up here. Moon petal, excuse me. A rare flower that only blooms under the full moon, originating from Moonwood Mill. And we want to come up here and harvest this tonight. The only thing is it makes me a little bit sad because these only sprout here and you can't. Any other plant, you can pick it and you can grow it anywhere. Not these guys. I want to go to the romance festival, but not on my... Oh! I can't! I can't because it's the full moon! I'm... I hate ignoring my arbitrarily decided rules. I also love that the lake is in the shape of a crescent moon. Oh, they're here. Let's harvest the moon petals. Excellent. And it usually gives you a few. Yeah, we have three moon petals now. And we're going to get a drink of water. Oh, isn't that beautiful? We want to stay on this lot because I want to do this all at once. On the one hand, it will take a little bit longer to wait until things Daddy, pop up to harvest the next day. But with the exception of food, we can keep our needs pretty decent up here. And we can chat with Vlad all night. After we chat with Vlad, we will use the restroom. The structural integrity of this bridge does not look that great. Obligatory fishing spot. Oh! That was a werewolf. Beastly presence from being near a transformed werewolf. What? Oh, we fainted. We fainted because the werewolf scared us. Fair. Oh, look at that friendship bar. He's going to turn us into a vampire for sure when we ask him. Oh, can we harvest the wolfsbane? Yes. Let's harvest the wolfsbane and go home and get some dinner. Breakfast. Which Evs. Oh, look at that friendship bar. Right, let's go home. Go eat some grilled cheese.
What was that noise? Let's plant two wolfsbane plants. And then we will have it ready and waiting when the time comes to cure ourselves of Beagle Werewolf. Get your hygiene up and get some sleep. And then we will have an exciting night of chatting with Vlad and working on our woodworking. Oh, we could improve our handiness skill because we've had a couple things break. So we could do a couple upgrades when we wake up. Oh, if someone calls us about the flea market, we have to go. Hey, there's some great performers playing at the flea market. Okay. We have been very lackadaisical on my arbitrary rules. Alright, we need to watch a performer. We also need to pee. Let's use the toilet in here real quick. And if the sushi guy is here, we're gonna try some puffer fish nigiri because I would like to chop something off of the list today. And we have mostly been grinding toward future. Oh, I bet we can. I bet we can talk to people about grilled cheese here. Let's watch the performer and tip because we can't get some pufferfish nigiri. But if we don't manage to cross off our money from woodworking, which I would like to do today, we're gonna pop somewhere that'll have a sushi stall. All right, that is all we need. Did you not even pee? You know what? That's on you. Talk to this sim. Introduce yourself to him in a friendly fashion. And talk to him about grilled cheese. We should watch for Don Lothario. Hi, Vlad. Penny Pizzazz asked me on a date. You should definitely date Penny Pizzazz. He's yay! 250 aspirations and progress on the grilled cheese aspiration. Let's do a quick scan and see if Don Lothario is around. Nobody that looks remotely close to Don Lothario seems to be around. Alas. None of the townies I want to be here are here. By that I mean that specific townie. Oh! Flea market's over. Let's go home. Get some sleep. Another day. Another time to garden. And we'll go through and do the things we meant to do yesterday. Well, I did intentionally try to make things harder for myself. Ooh, handedless level six. Right, and you've paid your bills. Let's make some sculptures. And then we will do another woodworking sale. You would like to come over? Yeah, you can come over, sweetie. You should probably stay inside. Come inside, you're on fire! Come on! <laughs> He's flirty! Let's give him... Give him some wolfsbane. He might like some wolfsbane. <laughs> we'll continue this woodworking later. But he is feeling flirty. So let's see if we can ah, romance him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He seems to Tip. have liked... Tip. Oh, he did not like that. Um, Arbanoid. but he gave us a rose. You are giving me, oh, we didn't like the rose. What well, we're going to let's flirt with Vlad. I'll always be here for you each and every day. My love for you will continue to grow forever. But he didn't like our flirt though, but he's flirty. Let's apologize. 
Brune. Do a smooth recovery. Trips Kamafalobi? Oh. Galoof! Oh, well, we actually talked about something that made our friendship go up and then down. Okay, he is an evil sim. <laughs> Can we ask to be woohoo partners? Lamina Galpa Watini. Simbab Krako. Nulith. Shamabu. Oh, Narabu. Arabeth. Because if we can just do that. Uh, with Beloy. Uh, rejected as my woohoo partner. Uh, we need to eat and we need to use the restroom. I'm just going to try a couple of different flirty things and see if we can. Because our friendship bar is pretty high and it looks like we can actually talk to him about some stuff. And if the flirty things don't work, it just cleared our stuff. I know you're evil. Oh, we'll do a self-deprecating joke to help with our embarrassment. Okay, we've got vampire lore four, so let's see if we can talk to him about being a vampire. Can Kubu Koiba? I don't know. Oh, yes. I don't know anything more about vampires. Try searching on a computer. Let's try that flirt. It cleared. Cause I need to seduce Vlad. It keeps not even letting us flirt with him. Jossa. <laughs> he seems to have liked that. <gasps> yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, let's try. That was a bold pickup line. So let's try a straight pickup line. Skeins Shemay. Okay, he didn't like an ordinary uh, one. <laughs> okay, he is not liking oh, that. Well, let's talk about grilled cheese. Buna, oh no, that looked like that looked like a sentiment. No, not a bitter sentiment. And now things are awkward. We'll apologize again. Even though we're pretty sure he's the toxic one who's making things bad. Let's let's have some deep conversations. Let's try brightening it. Oh no, this is getting worse and worse. He just yelled at us. Alright, we are going to send Vlad home. Wait, why isn't send it? There it is. Send home. And then we'll <laughs> chat with him on the phone to get our friendship back up. And we'll avoid seeing him in person until the festering grudge clears. Vlad, you are a job of work. <laughs> I even tried, like, googling how to get better uh, reactions out of Vlad. And it basically said, yeah, you pretty much have to build your sim specifically to appeal to him. We'll just keep chatting with Vlad until he goes to bed or we pass out, whichever comes first. You know, we have almost 10,000 simoleons. I'm going to buy us a better bed. Not too expensive and sleep nine. Hey, Vlad. Oh, I'm glad you had a nice day with Penny. You want to come fiddle with the rocket ship at Geekcon? Oh, unfortunately, yes. All right, really quick before we go do that, let's go... Use our friend for their uh, intended purpose. We'll have a hamburger. We'll eat it real quick. Keep an eye out for Don Lothario. And work on the rocket ship. Acquired the rocket science skill. Ooh, rocket science level three. I think you need a pretty high rocket science to get to six them. Which is also on the list. And that is the festival. Ooh, level four. Nice. Let's go home and make some more woodworking and sell it. There's a random child. Actually, let's finish our gardening before we get on that woodworking. Hmm. Testing cheats true. Because that will allow us to debug these plants. And we have had some serious issues. We might need to go in and set the gardening state. Let's set gardening state. Weeds, weed free. Is that still being a problem? Let's try mulched. I don't actually like gardening this way, but 
Sometimes that's what you've got to do because this game is glitchy as heck. Also, as your plants improve in quality, you get even more money. Like, honestly, you can live a good life in Simland off of half a dozen strawberry plants. Let's take a look at this inventory. How much do we got in here? We got five sculptures. Let's get ten sculptures in here. Three more sculptures and we'll do a sale and sell everything. We'll move our mark up too because we're a lot handier now. So our stuff is better quality so we can sell it for more. All right. Stock your table. And tend your table and let's start a sale. All right. I think that's everything from... Oh, we have one more. It's not over till it's over. Come on. All right. Send the sale. Now you can take care of yourself while I do the math. That sale was 524 simoleons. Which brings us to a total of 893. We're getting there. After we finish with woodworking, we're going to sell our selling table and get the specifically food one. And then we're going to start selling some of this grilled cheese. After you eat that though, and take a shower, it is getting pretty long in the episode and I want to check something off today. So we're gonna pop over to Mount Comorabi and see if we can't find some nigiri. You know what? I am determined. We are going to make four of the large sculptures because I think that will tip us over the thousand dollar mark and we'll get the rest of our handiness through upgrades or try to. Oh no, the weather's bad and our garden needs attention. Well, we can take care of our garden. It's not going to let us sell during a thunderstorm though. Maybe traveling to find some pepper fish nigiri will let us reset the weather at home. Oh, the weather's better. Wonderful. Stock the table. I think these guys are the ones that are worth 70 simoleons. Ooh, 105. <laughs> Oh no! The weather's getting bad again! Hold on. So like... Oh, tend your table! That officially puts us past a thousand simoleons. But we're gonna sell these last couple through the table, and then we're gonna sell this table, and we're... We're gonna keep woodworking, but we're gonna sell it through our inventory. There it goes! Alright, end the sale. That was... Four sculptures at 105 simoleons apiece, which officially puts our woodworking total at 1300 simoleons. So we can cross off one more of our side hustles. I think we're still gonna pop over and grab ourselves some nigiri. Oh no! But first we're gonna repair our sink. That is so perfect. Alright, we are gonna go acquire some pufferfish nigiri. I think I know where it is off the top of my head. If it is not there, then I will Google what lot I need to go to in San Michuno. But I believe that if I go to this lounge in Mount Komorebi, in this public space here, or no, I think it's this park. I think there's some food stalls next to this park. And if it isn't exactly where I think it is... All right, do you me. sell pufferfish oh, nigiri? Onigiri, edamame, tamago, tuna. Oh no! He doesn't have the pufferfish nigiri! Right, I'm going to Google where to find it, and we're going to go there. All right, Google says oh. the fashion district in San Michuno. So we're going to go there. We need the fashion district, so we'll go to the Planet Honey Pop karaoke bar. Alright, the Japanese food. Do you have... Egg? That is Chinese food. How many districts will I need to visit? Let's travel to a different district. Alright, it wasn't in the fashion district, so let's try outside of Maishuno Meadows. And let's check 
for food stalls. Just need... Are you Japanese food? No. You, I believe, are Korean food. What a great vexation today is being. You didn't woohoo Vlad. Can't find pufferfish nigiri. Don Lothario won't spawn. Alright. Let's try another district. We'll try once in each district. All right. What food stalls are here? Oh. Indian food. So just these two? Because that is a grocer stall. Alright. On the hunt. Oh, I think that is the Japanese food stall. Nope. That is not. Alright. We're going to try the fashion district one more time. And, oh, we didn't try Uptown yet. That is still just Chinese food. So we're going to try Uptown. And then we're going to call it an episode. It's... Is it a food stall? <gasps> Pufferfish Nigiri! We found it, everybody! Uh, Zombo. Go order some Pufferfish Nigiri, my dear. And don't die. Ooh, uh, Wabi. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We're feeling confident, so we should be okay. The more positive moodlets you have with the pufferfish nigiri, the less chance you'll die. Are we going to physically be able to eat the pufferfish nigiri? Having trouble with those chopsticks? Uh, no, Vlad, we still have a thing. Death is inevitable. Oh no, we have fear of death. That's easy enough. We just need to talk to an elder. Lily is uh, struggling with those chopsticks as well. Oh, and here's Lily's husband, Victor. One of them is in the politician career. One of them is in the politician career. One of them is in the business career. And they want to take over San Machuno. It is in the color text that you can find looking at their apartment in uh, moving mode. But we are able to cross uh. two things off of the challenge today. We took a chance on Pufferfish Nigiri uh. and we completed the woodworking side hustle. I think between episodes I'm going to purchase Patchy, but I don't think I'm going to befriend him yet. I'm going to do some more research on how to become a skeleton which I think is through vacationing huh? in Silverado and finding a very specific um, artifact in the jungle temples, which I need to do some more digging into that. Next episode, our priority is going to be finishing off our handis handiness skill and starting our next side hustle and the never-ending pursuit of the two sims that you must uh -huh. romance for the challenge, Vlad and Don. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the For Simplicity's Sake Checklist Challenge. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, I hope you will leave a like, a comment, maybe even subscribe and ring that notification bell. It means so much every time that you do. I hope you're having a happy time zone wherever in the world you are, and I will see you next time.